Finally, I am able to take Fernandez to the hill. This is like the fifth game since he's been on the team. And he hasn't even been close to taking the mound yet. So thank the heavens it is finally happening. I got Batista playing first base again. Some people might be thinking I'm a crazy person for putting Batista at first base. But he did play pretty decent at first. The previous video, I think it was, actually made a couple of grabs on some bad throws. So I put this guy back up. Back at first base, I said I didn't want to take Gwyn out of the lineup because he's kind of been heating up. But I did. I did pick up another first baseman. It may be somebody you would never expect to be picked up. But one of his positions, one of his secondary positions is first base. I didn't just pick up a random ass guy and then I'm going to stick him at first base and hope he does good. No, I actually got somebody whose secondary position is first base. So yeah, it's probably going to be somebody who no one expected to be at first base and that marked that flashback mark to share going for around I don't know he was dropping I know that he was going for around a hundred and twenty thousand I'm pretty sure last time I saw him in the market and I got a lot of people saying actually I didn't even I did not expect all the feedback I was gonna get and like I said before that is a good thing man because a lot of people comment on the videos let me know who I should pick up and stuff it's kind of persuades my decision a little bit more because some people have some good ideas like some people start naming people I would never even think of and yeah Mark Teixeira was one of those guys people were saying and I didn't really want to go out there and spend a shitload of stubs on a first baseman because if I'm going to spend that many stubs on somebody it is going to be a starting pitcher because I need more guys in the starting rotation it's getting a little bit better now that I got Fernandez but I mean, the fifth, I forget who the fifth guy is. In my, it's, not, it's not Samarja anymore. I took that fucking guy out. He stinks. But I forget who's, who's uh, the fifth spot right now in the starting rotation. But he's not any permanent solution or anything. So I'm still looking for some guys. And I didn't want to go out there and spend a shitload of stubs on a first baseman. So, yeah, he, he wasn't, he's not a first baseman who was like 500,000 or something. He was not as expensive as Mark Teixeira or anything. So, yeah, I just didn't want to. I didn't want to lose all my stubs on a first baseman considering I would have been more than okay playing Batista at first base. But I mean, I needed to get that guy back in the outfield and move Reggie over to left or something. Even though Batista stinks in the outfield, he has been going off at the plate. So I can't really take it. But fucking Brandon Phillips almost got decapitated right there. But yeah, I need to put Batista back in the outfield because he looks fucking weird playing first base. Another, another, okay. Let me, let me say something. Yogi fucking Berra is out of his mind. This guy never gets out. I am convinced. I am 1 million percent convinced that Yogi Berra never gets out. Do not be surprised if you see in a future video Yogi Berra batting like first or some shit. Third, fourth, right in the cleanup spot or something. Because this guy goes out there and does and just, if I can speak correctly, he just does work at the plate. It is, un it is unbelievable, dude. This guy goes out there and gets multiple hits per game. I was saying in the previous video, too, that I kind of wanted to get that flashback Molina. And I don't think that's going to happen anymore, man. Because I did say that Yogi Bear does make a lot of weird-ass shit. Like, weird fucking plays behind the plate. Doesn't block a lot of balls. Even though his blocking is like 84 or something. Or 85, I'm pretty sure. He does gun a lot of guys out. His arm strength, arm strength is good. But, I mean... I don't know, the way he has been just crushing the cover off the ball. Go, he just he is the gap hunter, man. This guy finds the gap at least twice a game. He's he might be leading the team in RBIs. No joke. Might be leading the team in RBIs and runs. I might have to check that at some point to see how many fucking RBIs this guy has because it is unbelievable how many times it is just like I just every time Yogi Bear comes to the plate I just lay back I'm like alright man here's a hit right here guaranteed this guy's gonna put up a hit and it's no it's no stress when Yogi Bear is up at the plate but anyway after that Yogi Bear ran I needed to say need to give that guy some appreciation because I don't give that guy enough appreciation I got him batting like 8th and he should be batting like first because he's really the only one of the only guys who goes out there and gets multiple hits a game. But Jose Fernandez was doing pretty decent in this game. We're now in the top of the third. This guy had Granky on the mound, I'm pretty sure. I don't know how the hell I missed that. I was sitting right on it, and I swing and miss right out of Donaldson. Jesus, another guy who's just been going out there and doing work at the plate. Just getting under that one. Dia. Jesus. 
Dust just getting under that one. That was almost sent to orbit as well. And then Batista sitting on a curveball. But I am just hitting a weak-ass dribbler to Granky right there. So we're going down with zero noise being made in the top of the third. I got a shitload more gameplay to post to, man, with that first baseman I was talking about. And I got some games, some extra inning thrillers and shit. I don't even know what it is, but the squad, they got that flair for the dramatics. Like going into those extra inning games. They're never like 20 innings or something crazy like that. They're usually just 10 or 11 innings. Pretty typical. But yeah, I got some gameplay with that new first baseman. And some crazy extra inning games. I think I have two at the moment. I'm going to try and get a video posted early tomorrow. There's no guarantees. Depends on how lazy I am. But definitely there's going to be a video posted at some point tomorrow. Going into the fourth, everybody give Reggie Jackson some love. Reggie Jackson is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. And a good pitch, but he gets quite a lot of it. And in fact, he got more than a lot of it. He got all of it. It's a home run. Reggie putting a charge into one, looking to get the squad going for good. Two zip in this game. Brandon Phillips showing some pop in that bat, but that is not even going to the warning track, so that was pretty deep. Here he fucking is again. Yogi is at it yet again. Sub, stop it, Yogi. Stop this man from doing any more damage. This guy is just embarrassing people. Left, right, and center. Another double for Barra on the board. And then Gwyn is stepping up to the plate and just driving one to right field. Didn't really want to tag up right there because this guy had that diamond Cespedes. I was actually thinking about picking that guy up, man. That guy's only going for around 27000 Now look at fucking Jose Fernandez stepping up to the dish. Driving one down the left field line for the RBI single. This guy is getting it done at the plate. And on the Crawford wants to get in on the hit. The boys, the squad are coming to play in this game, man. The squad was playing no games. Ripken looking to do some damage next. Just driving a little dribbler to right field. But man, Cespedes can't come up with that shit. I don't know what the hell. I had that lead finger right there, man. Sending Crawford home for some fucking strange ass reason. Gets thrown out. But I got the 4 nothing lead at this point, so it didn't really matter. And Ichiro sitting on that shit. Jesus. But... Yeah, like I was saying before I got off track, I wanted to pick up that Cespedes kind of, not sure if I'm going to or not. The guy's only going for like 26, 27,000. The guy got like a 98 arm and his feeling is good. I think the hitting stats are actually pretty decent as well. He might have good power against one side, maybe. And yeah, that might be the case. I don't know if I'm going to pick him up for sure or not, but man, this guy's trying to take off for third base, gets thrown out. He must have had enough. The guy tried to keep this guy in the game. I didn't want to let this guy leave the game. The guy quit out either way. Fernandez gets a pretty decent four-inning game pitch, though. 